I have the privilege to be in Bali by my principal, Mr. Paolo. As a former student, I found it great to share with you some of my knowledge. Who would it like to speak a better English? Surely, all of you would, would like to. In this joke way, I come to share with you a special idiom class. Firstly, I'm going to give you the definition of idiom. What is an idiom? An idiom is a dialect that, has, that cannot be translated, but that has its own ex explanation of itself. The first idiom that I'm going to share with you today is to cost an arm and a leg. What does that mean to cost an arm and a leg? That means to be very expensive, something that you have to spend a lot for. For example, I went to a Spanish restaurant yesterday. The dishes in there cost an arm and a leg. The second idiom I want to share with you is to give one the creeps. What does it mean to give one the creeps? That means to have a sensation of disgust or power. For example, my friend Annie cooked a snake this morning. It really gives me the creeps. The third one is pain in the ass. Pain in the ass means someone who is disturbing you, who is annoying you for no reason. For example, my co-worker is always making fun of me for no reason. She's a real pain in the ass. And the fourth one I'm going to share with you is no wonder. No wonder means when it's not surprising. For example, the population cut all the trees in, the, in this countryside. No wonder there's a lack of water here. The previous one is to get on one's nerve. What does it mean to get on one's nerve? To get on one's nerve means when you make someone unhappy, to make someone unhappy. For example, this principal mistreats his employees. It gets on my nerves. The next, yes, the, the next one is to be green with envy. What does it mean to be green with envy? That means to desire someone's advantages or things. For example, it is good when people are not green with envy at each, at each other's things. And the last one that I want to share with you is to cheer someone up. What does it mean to cheer someone up? Okay. And the last one I brought to you today is to cheer someone up. Someone up. What does it mean to cheer someone up? That means to make someone happy. For example, my mother washed all my clothes this morning. I don't know what to do to cheer her up. So, which of the idioms did you like the most?